Didn't get home till late. Just finished eating. <laughs> Got my 90s on. Looking at six liter, thinking, walking life with Bill so I'm your host, Bill Soe. Not gonna do much tonight, but it's in the garage. And they got just had a sneezing fit for God's sake. You gotta get myself an engine stand, but in the meantime, I want to take these belts off and I want to pull off the the alternator and stuff like that to kind of see the you know this part of the engine because it's just cock right over right now. And there's that's one hell of a rocket down there, Captain. So let's get that belt off. My nose is just dead, Jim. Which is there should be a tensioner here, which I think this is it. So let's get a wrench on that, see if we can't get it off. Where the hell would we, Jim? Oh, too small. Oh, just perfect. Slap the old doodad on her, and we'll uh, go the other way, obviously. Oh, yeah. Tensioner's working. So there we go. That takes the belt off. So we're gonna have to get one of them, because that belt's dead. And we're gonna have to get one of those other belts, too, because it looks like it's dead. But it only has 182 kilometers on it. That's not miles, that's kilometers, Jim. Should be all right. I'll tell you right now, that belt, Dagger. So, next we wanna do is I wanna pull off the alternator. Let's get that off of there. Careful. Careful. I'm gonna say 12, but you can leave your comments down below and let me know what you think it is. Or 14, I mean, sorry. No, she's a 15, Captain. Yeah. It'll rattle, tattle, tattle this off. Oh yeah. Well, there we go. They're off. Slide them out and we'll lift that off. Maybe. Might need a little wedge. A little crowbar action. Nothing like a little crowbar action. Oh man, that has been an awful long time. Boy. There we go. How does this feel? It actually feels pretty good, it does. It feels like you might make some power still. So I should clear out the shelf for all these doodads so I don't get cocked over. This is how we gotta do things, eh? We gotta keep things organized. Look at the size of that bracket. What is really going on? Holy! I'm hoping to get the Holly Low Ram, Low Pro intake for this because I gotta get this down because it's not gonna fit the van with this big intake on there. So this means I'm gonna have to change this water pump out because the neck can't come up here, it's gotta come out somewhere else. So if you guys know which other water Pumps work on these, don't forget to leave a comment down below. If not, I'll research it and figure it out. Because that's what I do. So I'm thinking this might just come off as one big piece. And then we'll uh, take off the rest later. And of course you're oiling all over the place. Oh, yeah. Need a pocket cap. Oh, nuts! Look at the shit in there. So we'll put this in here for now, and it can spoot into there. Not too sure where these rags came from, but we'll use that. All right, so now that we get that dripping into that, we'll uh, finish taking this off. That's gonna have to come off first. Holy freak, how does that work? Leave a comment down below if you know that, because I don't. Oh, yeah, there it goes. So this one holds everything. And now the whole pump, everything will come right off. Look at that. We might have to clean that up, reuse it. Maybe not this bracket. I don't know what we're gonna do yet there. Research is just getting bigger and bigger here. Get this out of the way. There we go. All right, so now we get that off. And as you can see, I'm starting to be able to see more and more as we go here. So now what we'll do is we'll take the tensioner off. So we'll knock this off. There we go. Tensioner's off. I'm gonna have so many freaking parts laying around, it's not even gonna be funny. But the only way to get into this baby is to tear it here. Let's get this off. Because I really don't know if we're gonna put the heat riser back on. This thing's starting to look like an engine again with all these parts getting off there. You just go cock right over with all this junk. So whack this off. Not whacking that off of that. Let's whack it off something harder. Don't yeah. forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell where button too. If you like uh, tearing apart the front end of the old LS with the dirty rod on the thing, you old freaking bills. Oh my god, Jim. Who designed that diggered up looking thing? I think we're shit out of balls on that one. Might have to friggin'. I don't know. I have to figure out something different. That's one thing I do know. I don't want to get stuck on one thing tonight. Because it's late and I don't want to spend too much time out here tonight. This is just a quick one. Of the, just a quickie. See what we can't get off here. Get out of the way. I got a busy weekend. Where the hell's my new dad? What happened I think of a bother? Oh, here it is. Let's get the old air conditioner pump out of the way. Now there's three. 
How many freaking things do they need to hold this on? Obviously lots. Wow. Wow. Can you see down here? Probably not. There we go. There's the uh, the old air conditioner unit. We should go over here. And we'll get the old air conditioner rack hot out of the way. It's coming apart, Jim. You know? There we go. Bottom tensioner for air conditioner. How's she looking? She's starting to look like a downless front end? Sure is. Hey, it almost looks like an engine without a bunch of shit on it. So that water pump, I've never seen a water pump so freaking big in my life. What a big bulky son of a bitch that is. Holy. I really want to get this off tonight. Careful! What's really going on? We'll get some cheaters on this because I don't want to give up. That's going to come off. So that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Don't you love that? I don't think this is it either, but we'll try it. So, if you ever want to cheat, stick her in a hole and give her a crank. Oh, yeah. They're, they're caught, Jim. They ain't coming out without heat. Them there are going to need some torching. Instant heat. See? Heats itself. Tick just like I am. Might have to cut that off. All these headers have got to come off. Gaskets are fucked. We got some broke off studs. Yeah, she's definitely got to come off. How are we doing? Anything happening yet? Probably not. Nothing yet. Probably give her a few taps with a hammer will help. Careful! Yeah, that ain't coming off. We're gonna have to cut them off. At least we got something done tonight, eh? We got some more stuff taken off the front of the old six liter here. So we can get into her a little better. We'll uh, do some more after the weekend. I want to get it, like I said, I want to get that cherry picker and we'll get the tranny tucking off here and we'll get ourselves an engine stand and this, that, and the other thing. Get her off and clean her up and make her look pretty. And then we'll start from there. We'll start looking for what we need. The front end, we'll take off the manifold or the intake and take off the valve covers. We'll take a look inside and see how crappy it looks. Or do you want to see that tonight? Leave a comments down below. Okay, I'll show you. It won't take a minute. So here, we'll gander into this one. So all you do is pull a PCV valve out. There we go. So now you're gonna have the first look, just like me. And what do we got for nuts here? Looks like we got some torpsies maybe. Maybe a little torquey, torquey action. No, they look like 10 mil maybe. I know you LS guys are out there right now just laughing at me saying, you idiot, it's not a torps. What's really going on? Well, I don't know, Jim. Frank, it's not like I do this every day. Let's see if this is it. There you go. An eight mil to take the valve covers off. So we'll wrap that these off. Okay, you ready for this? Let me get some of that dirt away from there so it doesn't fall in. You don't want that dirt falling in. Look at it all. Give her a little wipe, wipe. We'll get a few little chunks in there, but it won't be too bad. Oh, hold on. We're not quite out here. Gotta wait for the grand finale. It's going right back on, but at least we can see. Oh my God, she is friggin' clean, Jim. Look at how clean that is. Holy, she's friggin' mint, Jim. Leave her comments down below if you agree with me on that. That's pretty nice. Friggin' right. Yeah, we did. Don't forget, please leave a comment down below if you agree that's pretty damn clean for 187,000 kilometers. Like you can even still see the friggin' doodads. Decent. Hopefully you enjoy this. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button. And this is uh, episode two of the uh, six liter, I don't know what to call it. The six liter teardown project or the swap six liter project. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you want me to call this up, this series. Cause it's gonna be a long one. I'll do stuff in between, but she's gonna be pretty good. Hopefully everybody has a good night like I am. Don't do anything I didn't do and uh, until the next time, you know what to do for now. <laughs>